I guess Target has nothing on the shelves because why would they? What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, here today for another Tuesday, Blues Day, Blues Day trip. That is right, guys. We are right outside of a Target. I don't know if you can see those red doors right there, but I am starting at Target today. This is a different Target than I usually go to, and I'm hoping they're going to be a little bit more stock because there's a couple things that I want to get that I want to make sure that I'm able to get at Target today. And one of those is the big new release for the week, and that is Free Guy. I'm really wanting that Target exclusive 4K of Free Guy. They also should have the Green Knights on Blu-ray and hopefully 4K as well. If they don't have the 4K, I'm probably just going to go ahead and buy the Blu-ray um, and just forget about the 4K because it is a little bit cheaper and I'm going to save a little bit of money. I might grab the 4K somewhere down the line. But we also got Misery on 4K. I have no idea if we're going to be able to see that in stores today as well. We got this Friday the 13th Steelbook set that came out today. Deadly Friend from Screen Factory, which I actually have coming to me in the mail. So I don't think we're going to be seeing that in stores either. So Carlito's Way on 4K and Glorious Bastards on 4K. Today is a huge release week guys i have no idea what we're going to see in stores hopefully we see something but yeah we're going to go to target we're going to go to walmart and then we're going to go to best buy to finish out this trip so let's get started man let's get in there i'm excited it is time for new blu-rays and 4ks let's do it all right guys you see that target symbol we are here we have arrived what are we gonna find in target today all right guys so right away not seeing any of the target um exclusives for free guys so that kind of sucks um, we do have the Green Knight down here, $22.99 for the Blu-ray, and we have uh, $19.99 for the DVD. So a little pricey here. I feel like Best Buy is going to have it for cheaper, so I might just hold off till we get there. We've also got Surviving the Game, the new Bruce Willis film for $16.99. We got The Flash on DVD for $26.99. Roadrunner, a film about Anthony Bourdain, that might be new on DVD for $16.99. We've also got some Space Jam editions. I didn't see this Target edition of Space Jam A New Legacy last week, so that's new, I think. I was hoping that this Target hadn't downgraded their physical media section yet, but it looks like they already have for all of the books. Guys, they are doing the buy two, get one free sale at Target right now on new movies and books. Um, so yeah, if you if you need some new movies and books, going to Target's a, a good thing to do right now. Um, yeah, just looking at some of the movies over here. These are all past releases. I haven't seen Little Vampire yet, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, they got The Stand on DVD here. Not sure if we saw that last week either. Um, this Boss Baby Blu-ray edition is only $13.99 right now, guys. So that's a really good deal for that. So far, coming out to this location kind of backfired. They didn't have uh, what I was hoping they would. They didn't have their shelves fully stocked. It looks like they downgraded their physical media section, just like my other Target. So... I'm going to go ahead and head to Best Buy. I'm not even going to bother going to the Walmart out here because last time I went to that Walmart, it wasn't fully stocked. So I'll just take a chance on, on my usual locations. Let's go ahead and head to Best Buy. All right, guys. So I lied. I decided to go to this other Target that was close by because I just found out that the Green Knight actually has a 15% off Target cartwheel, which when I use it with my Target credit card, it's going to take 20% off. And that's actually going to be cheaper for me to purchase it here than Best Buy. So I wanted to stop at another Target before I went to Best Buy because I want to make sure that they have it in Target uh, because I don't want to not buy it at Best Buy and then get to Target again and then it doesn't have it. It's so difficult now to try to figure out what uh, which stores have what for what price. Uh, I'm, I'm doing my best. So let's go into Target and hopefully they have that free guy exclusive as well. All right, guys, here we go. Target's on it today. And still the same situation here as well with the book. So this is the third Target in my area that I've seen that is like this. Now you've seen these Karate Kid figures, so that's pretty cool. You got Mr. Miyagi. You got Johnny dressed up in the skeleton costume. Danny. So yeah, these are some really cool Karate Kid figures right here at Target, guys. So I am walking out of Target, and the guy came back from the came back from the back and he said that uh, they didn't have any of the green knight at their location um at all and we know that it was at the other location earlier and then he told me that they had no copies of free guy at all and they had none of the target exclusive free guy editions at any of their locations so it doesn't look like i'm going to be able to get that target exclusive 
of Free Guy today, so I'm probably not even gonna be picking up that movie. Really, the only reason I wanted it is because um, my son didn't get to see it and he actually really wanted to watch it, so I was gonna get it on 4K so we could watch it together. So I might actually end up picking up maybe the Steel Book at Best Buy, hopefully they have it, or if not, maybe I'll just grab the regular uh, standalone 4K. So I'm, I'm walking right now to Walmart because it's right next door to this Target in this area, so I'm gonna go into Walmart next. I'm gonna see if they have anything. Uh, this is a Walmart location that I don't go to every week, so maybe I'll get lucky and they'll have some stuff stocked. Maybe they'll maybe they'll have the Green Knight for a little bit cheaper. Who knows? But yeah, it uh, we're not off to a good start, guys. So <laughs> I apologize again. But uh, yeah, let's go into Walmart see what they got, guys. And then uh, Best Buy is our last hope. So fingers crossed so yeah guys nothing at this location as well that is new today got plenty of space jams escape room down there fast and furious cruella all the past releases but uh nothing new they don't even have a spot uh for the new releases which is interesting i haven't seen this friday the 13th edition here with that little pop figure maybe i have in the past i'm not sure um but yeah this is an eight movie collection right here and it's all smashed to crap, but it's still pretty cool. Even Walmart's kind of downgrading their um, physical media collection because this whole side right here used to be DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, right here, guys, I'm seeing a Nightmare on Elm Street collection. This is a DVD collection. That's a cool cover on that. I don't think I've seen that one before. On this side, I'm seeing Fried Berry, which we saw last week at Walmart, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Masad, is that how you pronounce that? I don't think I've seen that last week, so that's a weird Walmart DVD title. You got Death Valley. We've got Night of Living Animated Dead for $14.96 on DVD. But yeah, a lot of the same stuff that we've been seeing, that Snoop Dogg title right there. Also seeing this 10-pack DVD collections of Canon Films. That's a pretty cool set right here at Walmart, guys. Missing in Action, Cobra, Delta Force. So yeah, if you're a fan of these Masters of the Universe, that's kind of a strange title to put in there, Bloodsport, Hellbound. Yeah, if you're a fan of these, you might want to get this one. Some other good deals on some Blu-rays, guys. Wrong Turn right now is $7.50. That is a great price for that movie. Um, I really enjoyed that one. That's probably one of my favorite horror movies that's came out this year. All right, guys, so absolutely nothing on the shelves at Walmart. No attempt to even put anything out. There was not even spots for the physical media in that Walmart, so... I don't know what's going on today. Um, I guess the same thing that goes on every single week. So now we're left in the very uncomfortable position of having to put all of our eggs in the Best Buy basket, which Best Buy usually delivers on some fronts. They, they, they should have some stuff um, in stores this week. So I still need the Green Knights. I still need a uh, free guy. I was hoping to find Carlito's way as well. And if I see Misery in stores, I might just grab that too. But to be honest, um, I'm getting that Columbia Classics Volume 2 set in today, so I'm going to be able to do an unboxing for that one on my channel and then start digging into those 4Ks. So I don't really need a bunch of new stuff because I am getting that set, and those 4Ks are going to last me uh, plenty of time. I can wait a couple of weeks to pick up this stuff. It just sucks because I want to show you all these releases in store. So hopefully Best Buy delivers, guys. I might hit up one more Target just to give it another shot just to see uh, but I'm not sure. Let's head to Best Buy, see what they got. All right, help me, Best Buy. You're my only hope. Only hope for these new releases. Will they have anything, guys? Carlitos Way, Glorious Bastards, Free Guy, The Green Knight. So much stuff came out today. Will Best Buy deliver? Let's find out. All right, guys, so I am seeing Free Guy. We got a DVD for $19.99, a Blu-ray for $24.99 with no slipcover because that's the Disney standard. And we do have the 4K for $29.99, but no steel books in stock right now. We got Inglorious Bastards right here, guys, for $20.99. That is a really nice slipcover. I don't know. I'm on the fence with that one. We also got a steel book of that for $25.99. And we got Carlito's Way down here, just the steel book, no slipcover for $26.99. Uh, 99. Not really too impressed with that steel book. And I actually already have a Carlito's Way steel book, so. Not seeing too much on this side. Let's check the other side. Not seeing anything else over here, guys. Um, no Green Knights, no Misery. Let's go check the main section. So this is what the Blu-ray section used to be, guys. 
and it looks like they have taken them all out for TV, so they have come for my Best Buy. Um, but we do have a location over there, just a small little station for movies, so let's go check that out. So we do have a steel book for Free Guy over here, guys. So we have one more steel book for Free Guy. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get this one. I might just end up getting the 4K, the regular 4K of it. Um, and yeah, it's really all I'm seeing that's new over here. I'm trying to look down, but I'm not seeing any of the Green Knights. So yeah, over here, guys, just a lot of the old holdovers that we've been seeing for a while. Um, I did kind of want this Mandy Steelbook, and that is a good deal. So I might go ahead and pull the trigger on that. And this Saul Steelbook, I was always kind of sore that I didn't pick it up. It is only $16.99. I might just grab that one as well. Fortunately, guys, they still have plenty of copies of the Wonder Woman 1984 Steelbook. I don't think that they will ever run out of this. Did forget to show off. You got the Flash, the complete seven season here, guys. Only on DVD though. No Blu-rays of that one. All right, guys. So uh, yeah, let's talk about this whole downgrading the physical media section at Best Buy. Um, I used to have like a full. Not a not an aisle, but a full like half aisle, and then it kind of curved into another shorter aisle. It looks like they took that full aisle out, and they just left that little small end cap uh, for all of the new releases. They still had a couple of standees in there, and then they had the new release uh, section up front. But yeah, they they downsized significantly um, for their physical media. So yeah, that's disappointing. You know, they're they're coming for the targets. Now they're coming for Best Buy. Walmart seems to be pretty healthy uh, as far as the physical media, but they even took some sections out of there today um, and they didn't have any of the new releases either. So yeah, Best Buy, very disappointing today. They did have Free Guy. Um, they had steel books of Free Guy. They had steel books for Inglorious Bastards. They had the 4K of Inglorious Bastards. I was a little disappointed that they didn't have Carlito's Way because I wanted the slip cover. I did not want uh, the steel book for that one. I wanted the slip cover for 20 bucks. Um, didn't see misery in there, but I didn't really expect that I would. Um, I'll order that one somewhere down the line. I'm happy with my Screen Factory copy of Misery for right now. I don't feel the need to to really upgrade that one. So yeah, very depressing, guys. But I did pick up one thing. I know I teased that I might pick up two things in there today. Uh, but I went ahead and left the Mandy Steelbook behind because I already had Mandy on Blu-ray. Uh, with a really nice slip cover. I really like the slip cover for Mandy. So no real reason to upgrade. Like I don't love that cover art. I was just going to get it to get it. Um, but I did grab the Saul 4K Steelbook because I always wanted to grab this one. Um, I thought about double dipping because I love the slip cover for this. So that's why I picked that one uh, back in May when it came out. Love the slip cover for this one. Um, and I, I actually really like the steelbook as well. I just didn't want to pay extra for it. So this went down to $16.99. Good price for that. I love the image on the back of this, which I didn't even know was on the back of it um, until I saw somebody unbox it of just uh, a jigsaw dragon, uh, Carrie Elwes, down the hallway at the end of the movie. I think that's a great shot um, in the film, and they just had some really cool artwork on the back. So, And it's one of those Lionsgate uh, slipcover steelbooks. So I am getting into the habit of wanting to collect all of those. I got the Three from Hell one, the American Psycho one. There's some really cool ones on the way. So I went ahead and grabbed the Saul steelbook in there. So I didn't leave empty-handed, but yeah, I didn't grab Free Guy. I'm hoping that uh, I might find it at Target uh, because, yeah, we didn't find the Green Knight in there, which I was really surprised about. And I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to go to one more Target. That's right, guys. It is three Targets uh, this week on the Blues Day Tuesday. I don't think I've ever done that before. But, yeah, we're going to go to Target and see if they got the Green Knight and the Free Guy exclusive. Because the guy said they didn't have them in stores anywhere. But I don't know. I feel like I might go into the Target I usually go into. And it might actually be there. And if not that one, I'll get the, I'll just break down and get the regular 4K. All right, guys, let's head to one more Target and see what they got for us. Woo wee, we are back again at Target, guys. And I bet you thought that Ken forgot about the old Hillbilly Hunter. Well, no, nah, the Hillbilly Hunter just kind of, he decided for a change of scenery. He wanted to change the scenery. So he's going to go to Target today and see what they got. Maybe they're going to have some of them, some of the VHS tapes here. And maybe they're going to have some guns, some bait and tackle. I don't know. What does Target have? I feel like it's for fancy people here at Target. I don't know if it's for the Hillbilly Hunter. And I might walk in and I might walk right the hell out. So let's do it. I yeah, guess Target has nothing on the shelves because why would they? We just got out of our third Target and no luck there as well. So I guess I learned my lesson. When I see something that I want in stores, 
I just need to grab it immediately. The Green Knight was at the very first Target I went to, uh, but I was hoping I could find that Target exclusive for Free Guy and then I could get them both together. And I just figured that uh, the Green Knight would be at the other Targets if it, if it was at the first one. So I asked somebody, he said that Free Guy was all sold out. I was like, well, was it ever out? Did you all put it out this morning? Like, how was it sold out? There's no way it's sold out. Did They just didn't have it. Um, so I don't know what's going on with Free Guy and stores at Target with the exclusives and stuff like that, but they completely dropped the ball at Target. Best Buy had theirs and their uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbooks and all that stuff. So, yeah, the Green Knights, I don't know what's going on with that. That wasn't at Best Buy. It was at one Target. It wasn't at Walmart, but not a lot of stuff's at Walmart. So um, we did see some stuff today, though, guys. Like I said, we saw Green Knight at the first Target. We saw Glorious Bastards, Carlito's Way. Uh, free guy. I pretty much, we saw all the big releases uh, today except Misery on 4K, but I didn't think that we would see that anyway. Um, I'm just disappointed because I didn't get uh, some of the stuff that I wanted. I wanted the free guy and I wanted the, the Green Knight. So I did pick up that Saul Steelbook, so I didn't, uh, I wasn't completely empty handed today. So I guess that's good because I, I really don't need to be spending that much more money anyway. And I've got that Columbia Classics box set coming today, guys. So I'm excited to dig into that one and hopefully get a review out uh, for Taxi Driver this week. And uh, yeah, before I get off here, guys, just a couple of quick updates. So tonight I will be doing World's Biggest Collectors episode 27 with Christian Hannah Horror. Great horror YouTuber, has a great channel, has an awesome physical media collection. He's going to be coming on to talk horror and physical media with me um, and an Ask Us Anything format. So definitely stop on by there, ask us a question, come hang out with us as we talk about horror and physical media and all that good stuff. And also, um, just to talk about the Halloween 4Ks for a second, I have not received them yet. I have not received my shipping notification yet. Um, so I don't know when I'm going to get those, but when I do get those, I have decided I am going to binge watch them all in one sitting and I'm going to do a review for all five of the Halloween 4Ks together in one video. So that's how I'm going to handle that. So appreciate everybody coming out with me today. I hope it wasn't too much of a depressing day. I'm trying to keep, trying to keep my chin up. I'm trying to stay positive about this whole thing. It is just, it's a mess out there, guys. There's no other way to describe it in the physical media world right now. It is an absolute mess. Delays, stuff not showing up in stores, stuff getting canceled. It's just a mess. But let's stay positive. Let's let's focus on the things that we do have, the things that we are excited for, and just take it day by day. So I appreciate everybody watching, guys. Please like, comment down below of what you picked up this week, what you found in your stores this week. Let me know in that comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.